exciting to welcome back Surian. One named artists are always the best. <laughs> Surian, no need for any more. Our fabulous resident singer and performer here in Marbella, but also very much loved in your homeland of Gibraltar. Congratulations, Surian. I see you everywhere. <laughs> I'm plastered everywhere. You it's all are. You... Social media, absolutely everywhere. But not just that, you are performing everywhere uh -huh. and the feedback is wonderful. It's lovely to see how successful you're being, how well your music's being received. Give us a, a rundown of what you've been up to. It's been a while since it uh, has we been. chatted. It has been, you know, um, and since we last met, <laughs> um, I've been really, really developing in all in all kinds of areas. You know, as, uh, as an artist, as a songwriter, um, being my own manager. You know, I need to control all these aspects all around me. So now, you know, I'm, I'm, as as I said in the last program, I'm working with um, Peter Montegrifo, the guitarist, and now we've got a very cool eclectic band with us called the Peter Montegrifo Band. So it's Serian and the Peter Montegrifo Band, and we. Are just doing uh, all our songs, you know, and giving it a very cool twist of jazz and blues. So we've got a, a gig coming up in Gibraltar on the 17th of March at the Jazz Cafe, and that's going to be just as a, two, as a duo, me and him. But then we've got another exciting gig coming up here in Marbella, in, in San Pedro, in a very cool venue called La Catarina, which I'm really, really looking forward to, and it's on the 12th of May. And um, we're going to be the full band performing there. It's free entry, but we've got a very, very, very special guest. Who? Oh, I mean, more da, special da, da. than you. I can't, <laughs> I, I can't think that they've got anything more special than you. Well, there's this um, absolutely beautiful girl called Laura Rubio. And um, some of you might have seen her on TV last year. She, um, she was a semi-finalist in La Voz. Which is the Spanish version of The Voice. Yep. And um, she's a really cool one, you know, with that really bluesy voice with all those wicked tattoos, you know, on, on, on her arm. And we've kind of hooked up and we, we have the same philosophy and um, we just gel. So, and especially with her mum, her mum, Maria Jose. <laughs> she's awesome. She's awesome. I mean, she, does she perform as well or she's well, just she's a, a... She's a flamenco artist. Uh -huh. she really, she's a very, very good dancer of flamenco. And um, I've seen some um, pictures of her when, in her younger days when she used to perform. And my God, you know, like you can tell that she... It's passion. No wonder her daughter's the way she is. So she's coming over, and as a guest artist, she's going to be performing on that gig. So check you out, man. You get two. Two? <laughs> two. two for the price of one, which is free one. anyway. Is free. There you go. <laughs> and plus an awesome band with us, you know, which is the. And the Katerina was actually, I don't know about this year, but I remember that they did get the best live. A music venue awards and the Marbella Rocks Awards, definitely yes. in 2016, the year before. It is a great venue. It's easy to park. The acoustics are great. Yes. Inside, it's like you, you're lost in like some kind of like a saloon atmosphere, but it's a great place to go. They have their, they make their own beer. They do. So it, there's a lot of plus things for La Caterina, and they are renowned for bringing really top artists <laughs> to perform. So this is really exciting. It is, it is. And, um, you know, for me, it's, it's going to be quite special, you know, because I haven't been performing in San Pedro for a long time acoustically, yet along with my band, I haven't yet performed around with in this area. With my band? How cool is that? I with know, my band? With my band mates, with my brothers, mis compadres. What's know? it like? Because, I mean, you've, you've been a, a solo performer, but you're one of these solo performers who are always very open to input and suggestions. I know you thoroughly enjoyed creating We Are As One, yes. the anthem for our United Nationalities. Summit with Terry Shaughnessy at Herodog Studios. You like collaborating, but actually now having a band is like, you know, like it's Gloria awesome. Gaynor. And got, exactly. Not Gloria yeah, Gaynor, yeah. Gloria <laughs> Stefan. And uh, <laughs> you've got, you got my band I now. Got my band, you know, me what and does the it boys. feel like? I mean, is it having that constant contact, feedback? It feels, do you know, it, it feels amazing because there's so much energy and it's all so positive. But you, you know when, you, uh, when you're doing something, but you, you're doing it and, and you feel like you understand it a little bit more about yourself and you're developing more skills and knowledge, you know? and you feel good and you're buzzing so that's exactly how I feel with them you know I feel as one with them <laughs> honestly we, even though they're all men you know and I'm, I'm the only lady there for now um, you know it, it, it feels very 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 cool and especially when when we start like improvising and, and jamming with each other and then all these notes come out you know of the guitar and I was like oh I didn't know I could do this you know and can jam with you you know um, and then vocally you know vocally I'm, um, I've, I've, I'm going to different areas you know and different colors and different tonalities and I it's all because you know I'm, I'm, I'm sharing 
you know, and I'm sharing and I'm being open and I'm learning and yeah, and I'm enjoying it, you know, I've got a big smile on my face. But well, you always have a big <laughs> smile on your face, but without a doubt you can feel that there is a, a vibe, a buzz. You've been performing so much and obviously you work as well and you work yes. with children, which is very demanding. Mm -hmm. It is Miss Surian who in fact records Rowan Litchfield's weekly <laughs> Sign oh, language, which makes language. us very happy. <laughs> happy. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so it's lovely that integration with the children. They're always learning, they're always growing, you're learning and exactly. growing. Exactly. And what I do is always, when, when I learn things, you know, I share it with them. You know, and even like sometimes I do put on footage or maybe I'm, I'm working with them and they're on the, on the IMAX um, working on the, pro, on, on, what, on the project. Miss, I found you on YouTube, you know, and they start like, well, I start, right, if you subscribe to my channel, I subscribe to you. Because every child nowadays wants to be a YouTuber, right? My, my nieces, because I've got twin nieces, now they were really funny. And they're like, Auntie, you know, how many subscribers have you got to your channel? And I've got, well, you know, I've got like maybe 31, last time I checked. Ah, I'm like, why are you laughing? The sis, and they, they show me this kid, you know, having like thousands of subscribers. And they were like, look, he's younger than you, <laughs> smaller than you. Well, that's he's the thing, they've got a network that's it. that is completely different to you. In fact, Absolutely. I was watching a very cute video that we have to have on the programme, which is about a little girl who's with her tablet, and then they give her a magazine, and this child's like pushing this magazine, and like, <laughs> it's not working, my tablet's broken. And then you see her actually testing her finger on herself, because maybe <laughs> it's her finger that's broken. But in the end, she works out that the magazine, it's a very fast, world right now it is and, um, and it's all about that digital you know they they they're only seven and they can pick up my phone and exactly where to go swipe 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 find the camera you know one of them did a se secret video on themselves like hi don't tell auntie suri you know and then I'm, I'm cleaning my mobile and i'm finding this video that she's left there for me as a teacher you must see the the dangers behind this as of well it's not I just do all glory it's no. very easy for a child nowadays to make a mistake exactly and then never be able to take that back which i didn't have as a child no. and you're very young but i don't think even you had to go through no. that as a child but today if we were young and you make a mistake and you put up a photograph you don't realize that once it's in the social media you do not own that picture anymore exactly. it can be used for anything 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 and anything you say anything that, that you filmed you know it, it can be used against you know and there's a lot the lot, there's a lot of people I think out there who have a lot of time to waste, you know, and they, they would go ahead and, you know, troll, as they call it now, or, or diss, you know. There's something now in the, in the YouTube called a diss track. Did you know that? No. So basically, where I go online now and I put um, an instrumental behind me and I start rapping, dissing you right and then i tag you and then you see my video and then you evaluate it this is what does that mean this is like put you putting you down kind disrespecting of, can't make it cut yeah i think so <laughs> and it's called the diss track and it's this new thing and every how time, to bully to music yeah it's it's a kind of thing i mean if you're friends you would take it lighthearted, but then it's the comments that people write over there oh this her this him saying this saying that you know and then obviously you do you do it in a friendly manner but then you get this reaction and then you it affects you you know so uh, it's it's so you know parents really I think frequently think that they they don't understand the social media it's no. all too fast for them but it's something you cannot let go because it's changing every day and Constantly. our children are very vulnerable yes and they maybe are. they we don't know it or even to ask no then they they are very very exposed to this you know and I think we need to accept that this is the way it's going you know this is the way that the the world is evolving you know so we need to find a way how to manage it you know, and make it um, safer for them. Because you can't fight against it. It's, it's, yeah, and it's unfortunately, it wherever children are, predators follow. Exactly. So you have to really be aware, and our children do need to be warned and advised to make sure that they've got their privacy settings covered. And if you Absolutely. don't understand it, parents, get yourself a class. Because yeah. it really is, <laughs> I think that's serious. Our children have even GPS location Completely. services on some of their apps that they don't know and it's showing them the, where they are, what time they're doing it, that gives a, a, a vulnerability that we're not even anticipating, I think. Absolutely. absolutely. Anyway, back to your music before it's Sorry. over. <laughs> but when you have a teacher who is in touch with our youth, it's only perfect that we take advantage to discuss things that 
are so relative. So you're performing in La Caterina in San Pedro on May 12th, a birthday week for us. And <laughs> what kind of music will you be playing? So it's all original stuff. So what, what we're going to do is um, we're going to start off with the acoustic stuff, which is still the full band, but you know, it'll be me and the guitar and, the, and Peter with his guitar and the, the rest of the band, like all original music, so singing some of my songs. And then we'll invite um, Laura on stage and she's going to do three, three um, really cool covers. Then Laura will get done from the stage, then we'll go back to the electric. So, you know, a little bit harder, as they say, you know, to have a little bit of hard, jazzy blues. And then we're going to end up with a really, really, really wicked uh, blues improvisation, which is what I, I, I love. You know, what I do when I perform, I have this book and I just pass it around the audience. And then the audience write the thoughts. You cannot believe some of the things that they've written. But then with That's those... That's a nice idea. Well, it works, because then what I do with those thoughts, I improvise something there on, on the spot, a like bluesy, jazzy number. And it's, it's, it's amazing, it's a love, because they feel part of it also, you know, and they're like, oh my God, that's my line! Yeah, you know, it's really cool. So, that's a great idea. Yeah, so we're going to have one of that, and then um, Laura's going to join us, and, we, and between us two <laughs> and the band, we're going to improvise together. <laughs> so, yeah, we're really looking forward to it. We so are. where did you meet this band? How did you hook up? Well, small world, Gibraltar, you know, Peter, um, I've known of Peter for many years, He's a he, he, um, he used to have two bands there called The Arrival and Oracle, and they, they were big in his days, big outside, um, out, outside Gibraltar, um, so he's a very known musician there, um, so I've known of him, um, obviously through my dad, you know, now I'm kind of like letting go here my, in Peter's age, yeah, but he looks really young, <laughs> and so we kind of, um, touched base a few years ago where I was looking for someone to, to play with, you know, because I came back from, from the UK. But he was busy and then things just moved on. And then last August, coincidentally, in the beach, we were at, the, uh, at a barbecue during the day, and we started talking. I said, look, um, I still want to do something. Like, have you got time? Well, okay, let's just jam. And from that jam, you know, we've just evolved to this. It just clicked. Just clicked. Like, but, you know, really, really fused up. Like, he understands where I'm coming from with my voice and my, my guitar work and I've learned like I've learned so much from him so so much and I can only appreciate all the time that I've had with him you know and how you know how, how it's all evolving and then um, certain opportunities have come up which um, we needed a band to kind of um, um, pro, um, proceed with and so he's he's had this um, blues band he says well I've got friends you know that maybe might be interested which ended up being people I know also so then that's why um, it's funny how the had, world takes you around what goes it around comes, comes around. around and come around too like Katerina 12th of May in San Pedro yes because Serena will be there also with a semi-finalist of La Voice the, the voice. Boy, la voice. La voice. That was Spanish. very Gibraltarian. La, la voice. <laughs> Laura. When Laura, in Rome Laura. or when in gym. <laughs> you know. Speak to you. <laughs> 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 that was lovely to see you awesome. again, Surya. Best Likewise. of luck, sweetheart. Thank you. Absolutely wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Bye <laughs> 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 bye. <laughs> bye bye. So the show.
Yeah, I'm here in Marbella, but I, it says here I'm in La Canada. If you haven't mastered the lingo, don't worry. Linear Director has a free GPS geolocator service that will come and find you. Hey, hey. Thank you for joining us. Once again, we'll be back tomorrow with another Mar Bear now at 8 p.m. But before that, at 5.30 on 107.6 FM, please do join us for Mi Mar Bea. Another opportunity for our united nationalities of Mar Bea to connect, get to know each other, talk to each other and learn about each other. That's what it's all about. Take care for now. Be nice to each other. Be nice to yourselves. Y hasta mañana. And it's time.